As of 2021, according to the FBI, nearly 460,000 children are reported missing each year. That's more than 1,200 kids being abducted every single day, and an even more disturbing fact is that over 200,000 of those children are kidnapped by relatives and the other half by strangers. If there's any advice you can take away from this video, it would be to never take your eyes off your kids in public. Whether it be in a crowded grocery store or in a massive shopping center, in the blink of an eye, an abduction can happen when and where you least expect it. Just because you aren't watching your kids every move doesn't mean a menacing presence nearby isn't doing it for you. These are five cases of child abduction attempts caught on camera. Number one, drag me to hell. On June 7, 2016, surveillance cameras captured a man trying to kidnap a 13-year-old girl from a Dollar General store in Hernando, Florida. The teen was shopping with her mother when a man named Craig Bonello entered the store and grabbed the unsuspecting 13-year-old female. As he ran towards the exit with the girl in his arms, the mother caught up to him and grabbed her daughter. A tug of war ensued between Craig and the mother. Bonello finally let go of the girl and ran out the front door of the Dollar General. At the same time, an off-duty deputy named Jonathan Bennon was getting out of his patrol car. The store manager told Bennon that the man running away just tried to kidnap someone. Bennon pulled his patrol car in front of the suspect's vehicle and ordered the man to get out of the car. Bonello was taken into custody and faced charges as of kidnapping with intent to commit a felony. He was later found to be incompetent to stand trial and was ordered to be committed to a psychiatric hospital. The 13-year-old escaped the incident without facing any serious injuries. Number 2. The Walmart Bandit Security cameras in an Atlanta, Georgia Walmart captured the moment a stranger tried to abduct a 7-year-old girl named Brittany Baxter. Brittany was in the toy aisle on Wednesday, February 8, 2012 when footage showed her being snatched by a man while her mother is browsing a few feet away. As she's carried away, the would-be abductor places his hand over her mouth and Brittany is seen putting up a struggle as the man quickly drops her and rushes off. Brittany remembered her parents telling her about kicking and screaming to fight off strangers in these types of situations. A seven-year-old had been looking at brats and princess dolls when she was unexpectedly picked up by the mystery man. And surveillance cameras later captured that same individual getting into his car, as well as his license plate number when he was driving away. Brittany said the man started to talk to her while she was looking at toys, and she told him, I'm going to see what my mom is doing when the man snatched the seven-year-old in his arms. Authorities located and arrested 25-year-old Thomas Andrew Woods and charged him with attempted kidnapping. Woods already served time in prison for a previous manslaughter conviction. He told reporters he was never at that Walmart and that the incident is a case of mistaken identity. A conflicting story that doesn't corroborate with the surveillance footage shown. Number 3. Body Snatcher on July 1, 2016, Sheriff's Dispatch received a call that a man tried to kidnap a young child from inside a local cell phone store. The Victorville Police Department discovered a man named Terry Ransom quickly entered the local business and snatched the four-year-old girl while she was standing next to her mother and infant sibling. Ransom attempted to flee the location with the victim but lost grip of her just outside the entrance. And the mother of the victim was heard screaming by several nearby pedestrians who saw the suspect running away from the scene and chased after him. The suspect was successfully pinned down and detained until authorities arrived. Ransom was arrested on suspicion of kidnapping and child endangerment, and his bail was set at $250,000. According to county court records, Ransom has had several criminal cases filed against him, including previous robbery charges and charges of battery on a police officer. The four-year-old was understandably shaken up and upset, but physically unharmed by the ordeal. Number 4. Witch Hunt Authorities rescued an eight-year-old girl on Sunday, May 19, 2019, after a vigilant duo saw the Fort Worth Police Department's description of the car suspected in her kidnapping and went hunting for the vehicle. The local vigilantes found the gray Ford 500 in a hotel parking lot, and the police charged 51-year-old Michael Webb with aggravated kidnapping after he abducted an eight-year-old named Salem Sabatka. Salem and her mother were taking a walk on Saturday night in Fort Worth, Texas, when a car approached them and the man snatched Salem. Her mother tried to jump into the vehicle to save her daughter, but the man shoved her off and sped away. And doorbell cam footage from a nearby residence captured the incident on tape. Authorities were able to issue an Amber Alert and posted photos of Salem and the Ford 500 vehicle to social media. The aforementioned vigilante saw the post, found the vehicle, and called it into the police. Officers determined what room the car owner was staying in, breached the door, and located the eight-year-old girl. Salem appeared calm and unharmed as she was taken to a local hospital before being reunited with her family. Number 5. Strangers with Candy Another video caught from a doorbell cam features a 10-year-old boy followed home by two mystery men offering him candy. 
Graydon Dowlin says he was walking home from basketball practice just two houses down at around 6 p.m. on December 19, 2019. That's when he saw a white car slowly approaching him, and he says two men inside rolled down the window and said, Do you want some candy? And Graydon is seen sprinting to his porch as he nervously looks back to see if the car is still there. The vehicle persists, so Graydon tries to open his front door, but it's locked. The video then shows him picking up rocks, throwing them towards the car, and yelling out for his mother. The car pulls forward but doesn't drive away, so he runs to his neighbor's house for safety and goes inside. Graydon's dad released the doorbell surveillance video on social media in hopes that someone will recognize the vehicle, but to date, no suspects were ever caught in association with this incident. That's it for today's video, guys. If you have any near kidnapping experiences or any cautionary tales, please share them down in the comments as you never know if your story can potentially help out a viewer one day. Now, until the next video, try not to talk to strangers.